your journey during the sunset is one of the best shots you can possibly get and that is being completely honest. Flying over a city is nice, but you can take a sunset and film it anywhere and make it look amazing. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Hi guys, my name is G Martin. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. If you've been watching for a while now, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking all about how to film a sunset with the drone properly. First thing you need to know, you got to figure out when the sun is setting in your local area. Where I'm living right now, I think it's scheduled to set at 9 tonight, so I'm probably going to fly between 8.50 to 9.10. That's the best time to fly. Within 20 minutes of when the sunset is setting, 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after, you can get some amazing footage. I've been to various places and this has worked out perfectly for me. I've flown, I've flown downtown, I've flown over lakes, I've flown over neighborhoods. You can even just fly in the woods and get some amazing footage like this and it's not that hard to do. Now when you're flying during a sunset, you wanna make sure you have something in your shot. You can't just shoot the sunset and have just the sky. Yes, it looks cool, but all you really need is a photo of that and that'll look amazing. Best part of having a drone is you can take it up in there and you should use that to your advantage. Try to get tops of trees into your shot. If you're downtown or in a local like town, try and get some buildings in your shot. Even just go side to side, pan across the building, and try and get some amazing shots with this. That's all you really need to do with that. When you're filming this, you wanna make sure the sky isn't too bright, but you also wanna make sure the ground isn't too dark so you lose detail in that image. You wanna find the perfect balance between the sky and the ground to try and get the best footage you know how to get. Once you have all these set, when you get your drone up in the air, you just wanna make sure you fly very stable and smooth, that way you can get the best footage possible. Try to avoid any jerky movements possible, and you should be set to get some amazing drone footage. Now I'm gonna go out to the place where I'm actually gonna fly and we'll talk about this a little bit more. Holy crap, I got some amazing footage. Uh, first off, sorry, I actually flew before I filmed because I had to get the sunset beforehand. But we're just out at this local uh, a local lake and we have a dam off to one side. We have just a bunch of trees. We have a beach, little parks, bunch of chairs, trees, so on. Pretty much, I'm just gonna make the most of this and see what kind of footage I can get. The sun was really cool off the clouds and the lake. That was a really big thing I saw. It actually looked amazing. If you can see it, that's the, the moon right behind me, which is actually kind of cool, but Yeah, good, uh, good day flying. I guess some tips after flying. Try and film, I'd say 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after the sun. Focus. I'd say try and film a good 15 minutes before, 15 after the sun sets. That's gonna let you get the best footage possible, honestly. If you're flying over water during a sunset, if you wanna get really low, it does look really cool. So just a little heads up there, because you can actually see the sun off the water and you can see all the waves and the ripples and stuff and it looks really cool. But it was a good day flying, honestly. I picked up a buddy from a friend's house who came right here, flew for a little bit, got some decent footage. That's really gonna announce this video, so I guess if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, make sure to check them out the videos. Stay tuned for some more drone tutorials just like this one and I guess I'll catch you in the next one, so adios.